Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. So before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. So let's consider that you own a restaurant and there are two tables in your restaurant. So we can safely assume that uh, whenever someone visits to your restaurant they always visit in the group of two so you have two tables at any point of time they can serve two groups now your restaurant becomes the talk of town and it becomes a huge success and number of customers visiting your restaurant are increasing each passing day and that is why now you are thinking of the different ways on how we can handle these additional customers so there are two possible scenarios here so first scenario is that the number of groups visiting your restaurant have increased but they are still coming into the group of or into size of two so group size is still two but number of groups which are coming are increased which means previously you had two groups coming to your restaurant or that is the max max number of uh, group now it has increased to four so in this scenario what you can do is you can add two more tables now note one thing here that table is still serving two customers only but instead of two now you have four tables so this is exactly called as horizontal scaling and what are the characteristics of this horizontal scaling that there was no change in the table size previous or previously also it was serving two customers now also it will serve two customers so that is exactly applies when we increase or when we do the horizontal scaling in terms of our applications there is no change in the worker size and this particular function is called as scaling out and we are adding new nodes to cope up with the increase in demand so in terms of mulesoft horizontal scaling refers to addition of new workers to cope up with the increase in demand and you can easily remember it so that uh, in a way that n in horizontal always stands for new so whenever you hear the term horizontal always remember it it is associated with the new nodes that are coming because in horizontal scaling we create new node we do not touch existing nodes so what are the advantages of this horizontal scaling so scaling is easier you already have two tables you have to just add two new tables there is no downtime because existing two tables will still continue to serve your customers so you are adding new servers so that downtime will be very less when you are adding those new servers in your restaurant third is increased resilience and fault tolerance now assume that if, if any of the table gets broken or damaged in that case you will still have three tables serving your group of customers so same advantages also applies when we do the horizontal scaling for our servers scaling is very easier as our existing nodes are serving the customer request so so when we are adding new nodes there so existing nodes can still continue to perform which means downtime is very less similarly if any of the node goes down then rest of the nodes can still continue to function normally and that will help you to make your application more resilient and false tolerant and again there are some disadvantages also associated with it one is it can be a bit expensive now calling it expensive is more in terms of the hardware purchasing point of view because create, uh, adding or getting the new server can be a bit costly it is just like adding a new tables can be costly and second is increased complexity now you can associate this complexity with our example like that we will have now four tables so or the waiters your hotel manager they will have to coordinate and synchronize with all these four tables so it is from their point of view the complexity is a bit increased and even the maintenance is become quite uh, difficult and the other disadvantage is exactly the use case for which we use vertical scaling so now before we move to vertical scaling understand one thing about horizontal scaling very clearly that horizontal scaling is useful when your request size or request payload size is same but the number of requests are increased why we increase the number of tables because people are still coming in the group of two only 
that is why we can very easily afford to uh, to very easily take care of this situation by adding more number of tables now the next si next situation let's discuss about that which is our second scenario and it is that we are getting the same number of groups but the group size is increased now previously we were getting two groups each group having two customers now we are again getting two groups only but in each group there are four customers now if you compare it with the horizontal scaling horizontal scaling will not be useful here because if someone is coming in the group size of four then we cannot ask them to sit on different tables right we need to have them in one table only that is why adding new tables with same capacity is not going to help us here what we need is we need table with the larger size which can accommodate four people so that is how we will have to do it we will have to have one table one and table two and each table then can accommodate four people so this is exactly called as vertical scaling now if you correlate with the mulesoft uh, application then vertical scaling refers to increasing server size that is exactly we increase table size or so similarly in case of mulesoft application it is exactly similar to uh, uh, changing our worker size and this particular functionality is called as scaling up now what we are doing is that we are adding more power to existing server to cope up with the increasing demand are we creating new table here no we are not creating new table for previously also we had two tables right now also we have two table but the only difference is that previously table could accommodate only two persons and now it can accommodate four persons so that means power of our table has increased so that way in vertical scaling power of servers gets increased to cope up with the increasing demand and just to make it easier always remember vertical t in vertical stands for tall so when we say tall we are adding more power to our server so that way it will make you easier for easier to remember vertical scaling so let's see the advantages of vertical scaling so first is it is easier to maintain previously also you had two tables now also you had two tables so synchronization and maintenance is bit easier and secondly it can be cost effective up to some extent now in term talking in terms of servers then adding, adding uh, uh, more power to servers can be less expensive as compared to creating new servers and on the disadvantages side then the possibility of downtime is high because when we are increasing uh, our table size from 2 to 4 then that server will not be operational for that time which means downtime would be high similarly in case of servers where we are increasing the server capacity or server size then in that case the downtime would be high second is the single point of failure because now one if one table gets broken our capacity would be reduced to 50 percent so which means the failure points are now it is only a single point of failure third is upgrade limitation now that tells us that our uh, we can increase it to 4 but now if again group size increases then we cannot continue keep on uh, or we cannot continue increasing the size of table so in case of vertical scaling we always have the upgrade limitation that beyond a certain limit we cannot increase our server capacity so again just to summarize when we talk about horizontal scaling that means adding more workers to our Mulesoft application and similarly in case of vertical scaling it is increasing v core of the worker so we know that uh, the smallest amount of v core size is 0.1 v core and we can add, we can increase it if you want to do the vertical scaling so i hope these concepts are clear to you now uh, if you like this video then do share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you